and we have a producer in El Paso right now and some migrants are telling him that word is spreading to get to the U.S. because asylum seekers are being released with a notice to appear months or more than a year away. And a short while ago this afternoon, a Border Patrol representative told us there are even more migrants trying to cross today. Well, we received uh, information there's uh, in excess of a thousand migrants gathering, um, attempting to make entry into the United States here beside, behind us at gate 36. Uh, this has been a trend which uh, we've been seeing more and more of uh, hundreds on a daily basis. CBP agents on the ground also tell us cartels and smugglers are instructing migrants to cross right now, falsely claiming that the U.S. is no longer expelling migrants under Title 42. Also here in Texas, Governor Abbott's office announcing the biggest ever fentanyl bust under Operation Lone Star. 3.1 million lethal doses in a traffic stop. The 39-year-old driver from Mexico, Texas DPS, says this massive amount of fentanyl likely made it through a southern port of entry. And here along the Rio Grande River, we watched the horrific scene of two men in a raft dumping four young girls onto American soil and taking off. The girls tell us those men were from Mexico and were not their family. The oldest girl told me she is 14, traveled from Honduras with her two younger sisters, 11 and 5 years old. They picked up a fourth girl who is four years old. The three sisters tell us their mother's in Houston. That younger girl claims her father is in Florida. We obviously cannot confirm that. We did ask them uh, if they or anyone paid the men in that raft that dumped them off, and they would not answer that question. And this is something we see all too often here.